guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sierra. So I'm coming with a new video today on how to use Inkscape to turn an image into an SVG file. As you can see, I already have my image pulled up. This is just an image that I did get off of Google. Um, I just kind of searched silhouettes on Google and just kind of looked around and found something that I liked. And I love my little girl right here. She's really cute. The side profile of her and her hoop earring. So let's get started. And yes, I'm using my camera, my phone, my camera again. I don't know how. I cannot figure out how to get it to record on my screen and all that good stuff, but you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to help someone, so hopefully this does help, even though it's not the best um, quality video, but hopefully what I tell you guys or show you guys will help you out. So, like I said, I have my image here, and I have her selected. You want to make sure these little arrows are around your image when you are turning it into a SVG file. The next step, you want to go to Path, Path, Trace Bitmap. And then this little box here will pop up. And you want to click off of Smooth, Leave Stack Scans, Check. And then check remove background and that removes the white background around whatever image you are using and then you want to hit update and that's just going to update it to the settings that you have chose and once you hit update you just hit ok and as you can see it's all kinds of messed up so you want to go back and you want to play with the scan some more you want to keep updating them until you get an image in the window that is close to the one that you are looking at over here on the left hand side and you won't get the exact image but you want to get really close to it and like I said you want to just play with it update it let me just hit OK and see what that does and as you can see, perfect. It looks exactly alike. This is my original, and this is the one that I'm turning into the SVG file. And you can look at it, you can see the background has been removed from that image. So you want to click on your original image and just hit your delete key. And you can see the little, yeah, little red lines that's showing you where your cutting lines are. When it kind of lights up red, it's not doing it anymore, but it did. So you just want to put her back in the box. You see the arrows again are selected. You can just click off of that. The arrows are around her. That is good. You go up to Object, Ungroup, and that is just... If you want to take out the earring, I believe you'll be able to remove the earring. But if not, you can always trace it in your software and do it like that. And you want to go to File, Save As. I want to do Hoofball 2 because I have already made her into a file once before. So I'm just going to save it again. I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to come over in my design software. My silhouette Cameo 3 is what I'm using. Just type her in and she is there. Hit OK and there she is. Now like I said, you can see I can size her up size her down, no background or anything on her which is great and again you want to if you are using the cameo you can trace your image and then she's all ready to be cut and like I said again you can always release 
if you want to cut the earring out in a separate color, you can do that as well. See how I just move the earring off? can put it back in the place once I cut her out and then cut it in a separate color. And that is your file right there. Very easy, very simple, quick, straight to the point. Um, you don't have to always buy files from women. or I mean, you can support. I'm not knocking anybody's business. But sometimes it's just good to know how to make them yourself. Because not everyone wants to share where they got it from or, you know, how it goes. But this is an easy way for you to just make a quick file on your own if that's what you're wanting to do. Using Inkscape, just Google Inkscape. And you can easily install it onto your computer. It does not take very long. And it's free of charge. There are no monthly subscriptions or anything like that. But very quick, simple, straight to the point. Hopefully, you guys got exactly what I tried to do, show you. Like I said, you want to take your file, you want to, I'm sorry, you want to Google an image, save it to your computer. When you're first starting out, you want to go to File, go to Open. You want to search your image, open it. Again, once you have your image into your design space, you want to go to Path trace bitmap and it will pull up a little box here again you want to click off of smooth continue to have stack scans checked and remove background check and that will take away the back the black I'm sorry <laughs> the white background will be removed from your image where you cannot have that when you're cutting and then just hit update and okay and once it traces it for you, you will get a nice, clean image that looks exactly like the one that you uploaded with no background. You can go to Object, Ungroup, and then go to Save As, and then save your image as Inkscape SVG. Save it to your computer, and then merge it into your design space, and you can cut it out with whatever cutting machine that you are using. Like I said, I hope this helps someone. I know it's not the best video, but I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. But hopefully this helps you. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, write me on Facebook or Instagram, wherever you follow me at or have seen my um, products at. And I will answer them as soon as I can. I hope you guys, everybody has a wonderful night. So make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I appreciate you for watching. Thank you for your time. Have a great night. See you guys next time.